poopies. Yes, what am I doing? I'm making content, tubers. How, you ask? Well, I went Costco shopping. But that doesn't involve an unboxing, Z. She doesn't call me Z, she calls me Steve. But we're way behind on this channel and daddy needs to give mama pasta a lot of stuff to release. Even if people hate it. If you hate this content, tell me. I'll just never have pasta publish it. The people that lived here were old. I wonder if there was a clapper still involved somewhere. Nope. So let's take the walk. Let's, let's walk the walk to turn out all the lights in the kitchen because it's a this fucking journey. There's also alternative routes. I could have gone that way to turn these lights on and then those are, are also over there, but that one's only over there. <sighs> Should have cleaned up the kitchen before I went shopping because now we have a mess. So this is almost empty. This is fine. What's just on the stove? These are extra ice trays. My machine makes ice, but then it forgets to stop making ice. I've, I've tried to diagnose and it's just like, I like ice! And it's just gonna keep making ice until every time you open the drawer, you hear the ice fall down. So I had to like disable the ice because there's plenty of ice. Um, I buy this Lango, Langer's Mango Nectar. It's really good. Also, the Costco I went to was 50 minutes away, which was only about eight minutes further away than the nearest Costco. But I'm tired of driving the way the nearest Costco is, so I went to the other Costco and it's a beautiful drive. Like, mostly beautiful. It was through New Jersey. I touched New Jersey, so it can't be that beautiful. Um, we'll start with this. Everyone who was watching me unbox fire extinguishers was like, Zios, those are too small. If there's a real fire, you're gonna run out and it's gonna, you're gonna die. You're gonna be a dead man. So I bought a larger single fire extinguisher for the kitchen which is probably the most likely place to have a fire or the garage would probably be the second most likely place. So Costco, 40 bucks. Instructions are for losers. Oh, big bastard. Three times the firefighting capacity. So there you go, everybody. You happy now? Happy? Happy now? Happy? This is a legit one with the metal little spray spray. So this son of a bitch will stay in the kitchen and this little baby one, because here we can compare the size. God, this one's heavy. Is uh, If Zeos makes everything, everything's bigger. So a big fire is what we have to worry about here. So I'll just keep them both next to each other. So first alert, it wasn't a kid, it was a first alert. So it's gonna have to do. If you don't like the brand I bought, too bad. Um, I do have to put away food. Oh, well, let me open one of these because this is the big purchase today. Um, so my, if you haven't know, if you haven't the know, my walk to my gallery. Hello, welcome to the gallery where the pasta ware is. Here is a thermostat. And when I arrived, this battery w was expired in 2010 and this battery was expired in 2024. So one was in the very far past, one was the future. I changed them out to these lithiums. But these are old school thermostats. These, because there's one over here too. And they're different brands. They're entirely different models. And I know this one's got a different operation. You have to hit save and then it goes up. And I'm just like, fuck. So now that I've changed all the light bulbs out to be more efficient, it was time to get a smart thermostat. And Costco had them for 170. I don't know how much these Echo Bees are gonna be. Pasta, pasta in the future. Is it echoey in the future? Hi. Um, link the Echo B smart thermostat that has, I think this is a motion sensor, and these are a remote door sensor too. And they both tell the temperature, which is what I want. They also had, and Pasta's gonna be upset because they had the, um, what's the other one that everyone loves? The Nest. But I took pictures of the Nest and this and sent it to my, my friend, IT man. He's not just an IT man, that's his name. Like, I'm Zeos, he's IT man. And he's gonna help me with all the automation of the house. And I fucking need his help. And when I said, which one do you want? He's like, I don't trust Nest. Google's been known to just shut shit off after years of use just because they feel like it. And that was, he, he is true. I mean, anybody remember Google? What the hell was the name of that fucking? Can you, all right, here you go, in the comments. Please list all the Google services that have come and gone. Obviously, Google Plus was a thing. And uh, then that died. And there was, there was another one that I like used. 
Google Flame, Google Buzz, whatever the fuck it was. It was Google suck. Because Google occasionally does suck. So, I, you know what? I'll give it to the underdog. We'll get the, the Echo B. They aren't as pretty. They aren't built as nice. But I was able to play with the menus right there at Costco. I didn't hate it. So we've got this little guy. The DQ. Oh, what is, what is that? Oh, it's a little magnets. Really, we got magnets. Really, so cute. Got a little magnet stand. I think this is the infrared. So this will detect movement. And then we've got the door sensors, which have to be next to each other. It's just a magnetic door sensor. And this is, um, I wonder if I could set this to like, if I have a door open, don't run things. Like if I'm airing out the house, like if I put it on that door, I'll open that in a spring day. Or if it wants to know when I'm entering and exiting my home, which all this stuff should be able to be tied in with like open software. Yeah, my friend has used the Echo B before, luckily. Welcome, bienvenue. So it should be able to, because my biggest problem right now, like saving all this electricity with lights is fine. But when I was driving back and forth to this house, um, moving here, I wouldn't come back here for two days. And I wasn't going to leave the air conditioner like off. It was 90 degrees. So I would set it to like 74 and it would just run with no one here. Just run, just run. Because when I arrived, I fucking wanted air conditioning immediately. But now with this, if it's going to be an app on my phone or something, I could just be like, all right, I'm leaving for two days. Click. Air conditioner goes to 80. Then as soon as I'm like 90, I have to figure out how long it takes to cool the house down from like an 80 degree state to like a 72 degree state. But maybe it's like two hours. Like, oh, got a two hour drive back. Air conditioner on. And then I come home. That's the most efficient that I could think of, of making anything. So we've got, oh, why is there a bubble level on it? That's nice of them because you don't need a level. I'm thinking about the mercury the mercury ones. We've got so many wires we could hook up to this and they're all spring loaded. Oh my God, they're all like little speaker terminals. That's cool. Well, this thing go, this thing kachinkers in there and pops in, made in Malaysia, assembled in Malaysia. We mount this to the wall. Uh, this terminal must have R, RC, RH wire connected to it. I'm going to leave that right there. So I have to remember that. I don't know what this is. R G Y W. What is this? R G R R W G C R. Wow. It's hard to read letters when you read another set and you're trying to compare in your brain. I don't know what this is because this is magnetic. And it's a picture of a bee made in China. This is made in China. That's made in Malaysia. I don't know what this is. I don't know why the buttons to release the wires are so big. What if I put the red one in the green? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I bought two of them because I have two zones. So, yay! House problems. There's 170 times two. Yeah, don't buy a house unless you can buy two houses. That's the rule. Oh, um, I don't iron clothes because I wear pajama pants to make my living, but pasta will occasionally be here. And pasta is a lady, and pasta is a trained accountant, and pasta is a very professional woman who dresses very sharply, or like an old grade school teacher. Like today, today she was a kindergarten teacher. She was like, I'm wearing the thing, and I got the little thing. So when she is here, she's gonna wanna iron things, and I didn't have an iron, and I was just gonna buy a random iron on Amazon, but then, uh, Costco to save the day. And I saw this one, I'm like, wow, that's really sharp. If she ever wanted to kill me, she could just whack me with this son of a bitch. And then I saw right here, made in Germany, and I didn't care anymore. I'm like, I'm actually, I'm actually looking forward to getting killed by this since it is made in Germany. Although if it's made in Germany, and it's being sold in the US. Does that mean this is the failure? This is the worst iron they make in Germany? Stop. So this is a Rowenta pasta, by the way. A pro steam iron, a Rowenta. Which doesn't sound, sounds like a Mexican lady's name. This is my wife, Rowenta. But apparently I bought a, a, a German, a German thing. I think I have, I think the house came with an ironing board. So yeah, this is, um, ooh. That feels very German. 
Pasta, please link this Rowenta. High precision. There's a high precision spray. And I think this is where you put water and shit in. Look at that silicone fucking bump. Oh yeah. It's got an auto off. It's got a flexi cord. Look at that. It even does like a thing. Nylon, 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 nylon. <laughs> they put the same word so many times. Two, one line, okay, instructions, and this will stand up. Pasta, congratulations, you now own a German thing. What else am I doing? Have I gone to like 10 minutes yet? I, I might as well just make this one real long. I'm not sure if I own light brown sugar, but I do now. I'm gonna make some ribs and I'm gonna put some fucking light brown sugar on that shit and it's gonna be delicious. Uh, these are grapes. Pasta, see if you could link grapes and 4C seasoned breadcrumbs, because 4C are my favorite breadcrumbs. The seasoned one, plain breadcrumbs are stupid. These have to gotta get put away. I actually do wanna talk about this. This was, I was walking past it and I wasn't gonna, and then I'm like, you know what? I'm totally gonna. Because these are Nordic ware, um, half and quarter bake sheets. And there's only one reason I bought these Nordic ware uh, they're glued together. Why would they do this? Don't do this. Super light, super thin, roughly that size. Where is they? Where is it? Here it is. Oh, that one's nasty. Where's the other one? There's gotta be another one. Where is it? Where is she? All right, I'm taking this one out. Um, you see these disgusting Nordic wear ones? I got these at Bed Bath & Beyond when I moved into my apartment five years ago. And uh, I've abused the living fuck out of them. And even though there's stuff stuck to it, they've been the best non-stick pans I've ever used. So I found the big boy non-stick Nordic pans. So you can expect me to abuse the shit out of this. Made in the USA. I like the gold color too. How many do we get? Oh, yeah. They're so light and smooth. So, I don't do much baking, but when I do, it's usually some sort of meat product and it's on top of an orticware. What else we got? What else we got that's interesting? There's the other Echo Bee that I gotta tear apart. I might try to set it up today or I might just say fuck it and not do that at all. Um, I got cranberry juice, I'm real thirsty. Oh, the reason I went to Costco and didn't just go shopping is because I opened this up and I went, how many paper towels do I have of one? Oh, and it's not like I could just go to like a Weiss or a Giant or anything else and just buy more paper towels. If you know, if you're used to Costco paper towels and toilet paper, you have to go get a Costco paper towel or toilet paper, pasta cannot link that to you. Unless pasta goes to costco.com and links you to costco.com where you can get their toilet paper. And th that is the definition of good stuff. It's way cheaper than Bounty and it's just as good. I actually prefer it though because I, Bounty does that weird thing where they, instead of giving you select a size, it's half a normal sheet. They give you three quarters of a normal sheet, which means if you take two, you have one and a half normal sheets. You're wasting more paper towels. Come on. Where's my bag of meat? There it is. I'm gonna unload my bag of meat. You know what? I'm gonna pause the camera. I'm gonna clean this area. There'll be another video in the future coming up where there's a bag of meat. Um, until then, I just wanna show you what else I got. This shit, this Robert Rothschild roasted pineapple habanero glaze and finishing sauce is um, 32 servings, 36 grams a serving. 17 grams of sugar per serving. So more, a little bit less than half is sugar. Just pure sugar. So grapes, I got this. I wasn't gonna buy any sauces, but then I saw this kale pesto with white cheddar pasta sauce, and I thought Princess Pasta would love to just have the worst stomach ache when I make her pasta with kale and cheddar. Um, anything else that I've carried in? There's so much that I brought. I can't even remember anymore. It's fuck it. It's under clean, right, Chewbacca? All right, we'll be back for the next one installment, which could be before this, because Pasta's a wild child.